All right, so uh, now we have another span problem. So let's just check it out. It's sort of the same concept as before. Um, we've got these two vectors, v1, v2, and we have this vector b, and we're trying to figure out whether b is in the span of the other given vectors. So here's our um, definition of span. We want to find some sort of a linear combination such that we multiply c1 times v1 and c2 times v2 and we get you know b as our resulting vector so let's set up our uh, matrix again so we have negative 1 4 negative 3 2 8 7 negative 10 negative 8 2 all right so just like before i can't just look at this and tell you here's a number here's another number those two add up to make b so what we're going to do instead is row operations right so um, I like this negative one here. I think I'm going to use it to cancel out the uh, leading term of the second row, right? So if I multiply this first row by four, I'm going to get negative four, eight, negative 40. Um, and then what we're going to do for our row transformation, R2 plus four R1, and we're going to put that back into R2. Uh, so we're not changing R1, and we're not changing R3, so those are going to stay the same, but with R2, we're going to add this vector and the vector we had before, or not the vector, we're going to call them rows. Uh, so negative 4 plus 4, 0, 8 plus 8, 16, negative 40 plus negative 8 is negative 48. Cool. Um, we still have one more row that has a leading term that we don't really want, right? We want to simplify as much as possible, so I'm going to use that's a negative one again, but this time I'm going to multiply it by negative three so that the three and the negative three will cancel out. So uh, multiply that entire row by negative three. Uh, we're going to get three, negative six, 30, right? Move this over a little bit. So then our row operation is R3 minus three R1 and put that back into R3. So just like before, we're not changing R1, 0, 16, negative 48. But then we're going to be adding this vector, or geez, this row and this row. So negative 3 plus 3 is 0, negative 6 and 7 is 1, 30 and 2 is 32. All right, so uh, we've simplified about as much as we need to. Let's take a look at this vector, all right? So... Unlike in the previous problem, I'm not getting a great vibe from this, right? Because if we set up our system of equations, uh, plus 2x2 equals negative 10, that seems, I mean, fine, I guess. Uh, but then if we look at the two equations down below, ooh, ooh, it's not looking great, right? And we can omit this one and get rid of that, I guess, as well. Um, but oh dear, okay, so this is not looking good, and I'll tell you why it's not looking good to me. So it looks to me as if the solution to this equation is x equals negative 3, okay, that seems okay, but then the solution to this equation is 32, right? So what we have, if we're trying to solve for a vector, but we have sort of these inconsistencies in our solutions, what that means is that this resulting vector is not within the span of these two vectors, right? So we cannot express B as a linear combination of V1 and V2. It is not within the span, right? So we would say something like um, C1, if C1 is whatever constant we're multiplying by, um, B1 does not exist and C2 does not exist because B is not within the span of B1, B2.